evacuation orders. Two Draper families forced to leave their homes after two neighboring homes slid right off the ridge overnight. The video is hard to believe. News specialist Ashley Moser spoke with one of those homeowners. And Ashley, you're in that neighborhood right now. What are they telling you tonight? Well, right now we're seeing just so many neighbors coming together, actually helping evacuate the two homes that have been evacuated. They're helping fill up a U-Haul truck. Um, but if you come to this side, this is one of the two homes. The facade is still there, so it looks like, you know, not too bad. But when you round that corner, you can definitely see the whole second level down that mountain. And then this lot right here, there was a home there last night that slid down the hill. This is the moment one of two Draper homes slid off the ridge overnight. What? Neighbors also capturing the second home collapsing after the foundation gave way. They heard sounds from the homes, like kind of cracking and popping sounds, so they called 911. And this morning, we're getting a look at the aftermath. The home's debris falling hundreds of feet down the mountainside, now blocking a nearby trail. Looking at this. Now it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Carol and Eric Kamrat moved into the new home at the end of 2021, but less than a year later, were forced to evacuate. We had seen it start to kind of cave in on itself and lean back. The family is now in a rental, also still paying for the mortgage for this home. They've been working with the builder, Edge Homes, to resolve the issue. They kept saying the retaining walls. It's the retaining walls that are that need to be fixed. Fixing the house won't do anything without fixing the retaining walls, and that wasn't ever seriously addressed. Draper City says their engineers are on scene trying to figure out what exactly caused the slide. Fill material that wasn't compacted correctly, the recent moisture, or if a combination of issues is to blame. We've asked Edge Homes to send out their engineers who did the project um, to help us in identifying what some of these issues could be and how extensive they are. It's a feeling I've never felt before. Um, Obviously shock. Regardless, nothing will bring back the Camrats forever home. They're just focused on moving forward. I'm just feeling a lot of grief, remorse of uh, of the things lost and um, hope now that it's over, we can move forward and find another dream. Now again, these two homes have been evacuated since October. Edge Homes bought this home actually back in January. As for the Camrats home, the one that is now completely gone, uh, Edge Homes tells us that they're confident that uh, a resolution will be reached in the near future. They are fully committed to fairly compensating the homeowners, they say in that statement. Um, as for the two homes that have now been evacuated, the city is now assessing that land. They don't know if or when uh, the, ho the uh, homeowners for these two homes will be able to get back back in there. So again, neighbors coming together, moving all of those items out of these two homes. Back to you. Wow. And when she was talking about it, I mean, it would be hard to imagine how they're feeling right now. Well, KSL Investigates has been digging into the issue of cracking, sinking and, stru and structural issues in these exact homes. Mike Hedrick spoke to the city of Draper and Edge Homes while both tried to determine who would fix the problems as the foundations of the homes cracked and slid. The homeowners were both forced out of their brand new homes back in October. You can see more of that KSL Investigate story on our website, ksltv.com.